Hey, good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here with. And as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, you know it don't work without you guys. I'm scratching my head right now. So, Jerry Jones, <laughs> who always is talking. What about the man? Well, Travis Frederick, you know, he's That's right, man. the he's second not. time, the second time, because I saw him the year that uh, I got photobombed by Vander Holyfield at, <laughs> that must at the cool. uh, NFL Honors. That must have been cool. Oh, no, I got, I got a picture. Seriously, I'm okay. taking a picture, and here's a Vander Holyfield. She's be behind cool. me, yeah. He had all of his ear and everything. <laughs> so, Jerry Jones was very complimentary of Lincoln Riley in things. You know, he was saying some things about, you know, well, most college coaches are working on Sunday and things, and that they don't have a lot of success, um, have the lowest rate of success transitioning into the NFL, which is one of those things I pointed out. Like, for every Jimmy Johnson, you know, there's 10 Chip Kellys. You know, you've got Lou Holtz, who, you know, Notre Dame fighting Irish, he was great, and couldn't do jack in the NFL. Pete Carroll... Believe it or not, you know, left college to come to the NFL and bombed out, went back to college, and then when things went south as far as uh, the rules coming after him, he came back to the NFL, had success the second time around. And, you know, you think about, like, Nick Saban, who literally walked away and said, you know what, I'm going back to college. That the success rate of college coaches is not that high. But here was the interesting take on this, because he said, you know, uh, you know that, that he believes that you know college coaches are good coaches and things like that, but they don't have a lot of experience in the NFL level and things, and the success rate is not good. It's the lowest success rate. He said, "Look at Jimmy Johnson, one in fifteen. That was his first year, I think." Yeah, it was. It, exactly. So wait, it's like, wait, 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 Jerry. Are you still holding this grudge against Jimmy Johnson? Because let, let's be honest here. What, what happened in 15? I'm sorry. What happened in 15? What do you mean 15? 2015, how many games did we win? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm just, just like, sitting here thinking in my mind, yes. Damn. Aging roster. And also, you have to put with that a new GM. You want to go ahead and take the credit. Understand that we all know that that Dallas Cowboys roster was old. Old. You drafted a quarterback who couldn't stay on the field and looked like some butt. You didn't have Emmitt Smith back then. It was a brand new team. And if it wasn't for the Herschel Walker trade, I don't know that you win all those Super Bowls. So Jerry is throwing shade at Jimmy Johnson for no good reason. No good reason. I I, 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 I I can't understand this. You would think, that the, the way that comes across is, okay, I use, say, Chip Kelly, because Chip Kelly had no success in the NFL level. He took a team that Andy Reid had built, and he ended up just taking it apart, just shipping off all the talent, and they went down the toilet. He went to the 49ers, for one year and didn't do anything. You can look at Nick Saban. You can use those guys as examples. But you're going to take the guy who had one bad year and ended up winning two Super Bowls for you back to back and say that's an example of a college coach that can't win? Does that make any sense to you? It doesn't. I I'm mystified on that one. I, I'm mystified at why you're trying to throw shade at Jimmy Johnson because he was a college coach okay at the U who came in when everybody said oh, college coach he ain't gonna work and he made the second dynasty of the Dallas Cowboys and since that time you can look at all these NFL coaches that you've hired and none of them have done anything close to what Jimmy Johnson has done. So, 
Jerry, I think you're wrong on that, that, that analogy right there. If that's your analogy, then you need to hurry up and sign Lincoln Riley or Urban Meyer. I'm Mark Holmes, and I'll take any of those guys over Jason Garrett, the motivator, anytime.